Hey, Vsauce, I'm Jake, and get ready to add... Um, no. Crafting just got a lot easier with Minecraft Papercraft Studio, an incredibly cool app by 57Digital. You can make anything from mobs, diamond swords, to building structures in real life by printing out the individual blocks and constructing them. There's also a staggering number of custom character skins so you can print and pretty much create whatever you want. But paper is highly flammable, so keep it away from Burner, an app that gives you a secure and disposable cell number. Once you've got your Burner, it acts like a completely normal phone. You can send and receive calls, text messages, and get voicemails without having to give your real digits. Once you're done, you can instantly burn the number forever. It adds a layer of protection, but it won't protect you from fist face fight. You have to defend your heart from getting broken by nin jerks the best way possible, by endlessly punching them in the face. It seems easy enough, but some enemies bounce back in random directions, drop bombs, or in the frantic fight you might end up breaking your own heart. The more ninjas you vanquish and coins you collect, the better karate belt you'll unlock and the more proud you'll make Mr. Miyagi. I love you, man. Instead of feeding people fists, give them something else and they need to be fed too. This awesome platformer has you using the gravitational pull of each platform to safely get to your destination. You have to transport a seed through dangerous spikes, traps, and more. Once you've survived all that, grow your plant, jump into its mouth, and die. But if you're not so easily defeated, get ready for battle and tentacle wars. A microscopic strategy game that puts you in charge of an alien organism's cells. Connect DNA tentacles to attack and you can either let the antibodies slowly do their work or cut the tentacle to send a victory blow. But depending on the strength of your cell and where you cut its connection, it could backfire. The game gets increasingly more difficult and you really have to map out how you plan on succeeding. Or go global and get a map of the internet. Pier 1 Hosting created an app that gives you an interactive view of all the networks worldwide that are connected to form the internet. The bigger the node, the more connections it has, and you can click on any of them to see how far that network spreads. The coolest feature, however, is the timeline, which lets you see what the internet looked like from 1994 all the way to a projected 2020. It's really interesting to see how the internet changed in the four years between Wikipedia launching and YouTube. For a foul time experience, try Time Ducks the love child of Frogger and Braid. You have to draw a path to guide your animal friends across a heavily trafficked road and into the safety of their homes. And you can manipulate time. If it looks like a four-wheeled death machine is going to crush one of your critters, turn back time to allow your furry companion safe passage. Dogs will also come after the animals, so you have to quickly tap the mutts into non-existence. If a car ends up hitting one of the creatures, they will sadly not rise again like the Phoenix box. Phoenix Box is a platformer that you can't stop playing because it doesn't save your progress. You either get all the way through and beat the game or quit and start from the first level. In it, you have to navigate your black cube to the blue one in order to continue on. If you touch any of the red blocks or walls, you go back to the beginning. It is frustratingly fun and gets progressively more crazy as the levels go on. If it gets too difficult, try not to pluck out your eyes. I mentioned this game in episode number 10 of Game Loot, but I'm going to feature it again because it's awesome and I can do whatever I want. I can do whatever I want, Dad! In this scary game, you break into a house and have to relieve it of all its cash. Pretty straightforward, except for the haunting atmosphere and terrifying ghost! That's it, we're leaving! We're leaving Earth entirely in this episode's app of the week, Star Command. Star Command is a game that I actually helped kickstart long ago and it is finally out and it is awesome! You are the captain of a spaceship that you customize an outfit. You fill it with crew, assign them positions, and explore the unknown. But what would a space adventure be without hordes of alien scum to obliterate? The battles in the game are frantic and disastrous as you lose crew members and have parts of your ship blow up. You have to avoid being sucked into the unforgiving vacuum of space by having engineers repair the ship, officers man your weapons and defend against aliens that board the vessel, and keep up your crew's health with medics. Star Command is an RPG RTS hybrid that feels like Star Trek and has the graphics of Theme Hospital, so yeah, awesome. Links to all the apps can be found in the description below. I'm Jake, and as always, thanks for watching.
bonus apps! Oh, Enviro Bear, I don't even know where to begin. You're a bear and you drive your bear car trying to collect fish and berries with the hopes of fattening up and then hibernating. And you only have one bear arm that you can use to steer, grab items, press the gas, or throw your clock out the window. So it turns into this frantic mad grab of trying to use your one bear claw to do everything and it makes me cry on the inside and it's fantastic. But stressful, so let off some steam with the legend of Holy Archer. Grab your bow and arrow and shoot monsters in the face. Hey, look at that giant monster. Bam, arrow in the face. Do you know where Market Street is? Bam, arrow in the face. And now, sushi cats. I literally have no idea what's happening in this app because it's completely in Japanese, but it's cats dressed as pieces of sushi. Sakugara.